Hi, I'm Olivia Burley, the military spouse liaison for the state of Washington in your Washington State Department of, Affair, of Veterans Affairs. I'm really excited to be able to give you an update on the military spouse liaison initiative in the state of Washington. As many of you know, the Washington State Military Spouse Initiative uh, came about because of a series of listening sessions conducted in 2019 with the Washington State Department of Veterans Affairs and the Employment Security Department across the state of Washington at every military installation in the state um, connecting to military spouses. Feedback from those listening sessions was shared with the Washington State Legislature who created the Washington State Military Spouse Liaison role in 2020, and I originated the role on June 1st of 2021. We've just celebrated one year of having a military spouse liaison in the state of Washington, the first state in our country to have a military spouse liaison. Our mission is serving those who served by serving military spouses, and our vision is every spouse in the state of Washington is empowered and supported on their journey to fulfilling their needs and finding meaningful employment. To achieve our objective of reducing and removing employment barriers for military spouses and connecting military spouses to resources in our state, we've created four program pillars for the Military Spouse Liaison Initiative, research and communication, outreach and advocacy, direct engagement, and tracking and reporting. In the first year of the Military Spouse Initiative, I've provided direct engagement services to 88 military spouses, who primarily find me via social media, email, or phone. The outcome of most of that direct engagement is referral to installation services, state agencies, and other partners on a variety of topics like childcare, employment, unemployment benefits, license transfer, um, and connecting to resources. I've also conducted 29 presentations, reaching 662 military spouses, employers, and partners on topics like navigating your career path for military spouses, and recruiting and retaining the military spouse workforce for employers. And I visited 23 installation, I've made 23 installation and community visits uh, to every installation across the state of Washington. We launched a marketing campaign to promote the military spouse initiative to the military spouse community. That includes a logo, one pagers for outreach events for military spouses, and then another one pager for employer partners and a Facebook page, which will launch in August, targeting Washington State military spouses and connecting them to resources. We have three work groups in Washington State focused on military spouse issues. Two of them were formed prior to the military spouse liaison role launching um, and were created uh, within the Washington State Dep um, Military Transition and Readiness Council. Uh, I now lead those two. The first is the Military Spouse Employment Work Group, which meets every other month. And the second is the Military Spouse Credential License Portability Work Group, which also meets every other month. In December of 2021, we launched the Washington State Military Family Child Care Work Group, which meets quarterly. These work groups are focused on policies uh, for military spouses and resource sharing. Their membership includes representatives from each installation, state agencies like WDVA, the Employment Security Department, Department of Licensing, Department of Health, Department of Children, Youth and Families, and the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction, as well as Department of Defense, nonprofit organizations, and corporate partners. On the issue of military spouse employment, um, the work group has connects installation employment service teams to state agencies, nonprofit organizations, and corporations for resource sharing and collaboration. The uh, work group has created a Washington State Military Spouse Career Resource Directory with over 50 listings for military spouses uh, to help them find employment. And work group partners outreach to military spouses at installations across the state through a variety of events. The Military Spouse Employment Act um, was written by Representative Mari Levitt, did not pass the 2022 session, which was a short legislative session in the state of Washington. It included um, items, a variety of items to assist military spouses in their employment efforts, um, such as expedited licensing, um, uh, support personnel at each of the licensing agencies targeting military spouses and the military community, um, and in a demonstration campaign for employers on the benefits of hiring military spouses. 
Looking ahead, the Washington State Military Spouse Career Resource Directory will publish in August of 2022, this, this next month, the Employer Resource Directory for Recruiting and Retaining Military Spouse Talent will publish in October of this year for Washington State businesses. And Representative Mari Levitt has shared that she does plan to reintroduce the Military Spouse Employment Act in the 2023 legislative session. On the issue of military spouse license portability, as of the 2022 legislative session, Washington is now a part of three um, occupational uh, license compacts. And the first is Occupational Therapy Compact, which is 21 member states. The Psychology Interjurisdictional Compact uh, has 34 states enacted, and Washington joined the Physical Therapy Compact in 2019 with 25 member states. These compacts are collaborations between states so that uh, people in the profession uh, recognized between the compact states can move and have transferability uh, for their licensure. The audiology and speech language pathology compact legislation did not pass in 2022, but it may be reintroduced in 2023. It has 15 member states. The Washington State Department of Health uh, issued a military spouse licensure report covering fiscal year 2021 in January of 2022. 1,520 military spouses over that time frame uh, submitted applications and received licenses with the average uh, license being issued in 10.6 days for routine applications and 11.7 days for non-routine applications. Pharmacy assistant, dental assistant, LPN, RN, nursing assistant, and medical assistant were the primary licenses issued in Washington state to military spouses. The Nursing Care Quality Assurance Commission expedites military spouse applications for nursing licenses by endorsement and issues a temporary practice permit within three to five days to military spouses. The Washington State Department of Licensing also published a military spouse licensure report in December of 2021 for a reporting period of January 1 through August 12 of 2021. Over that time frame, 240 military spouse licenses were issued for an, in an average number of days of 12.2. Notary public and cosmetology were the largest categories. The Clearinghouse for Military Family Readiness released a report on military spouse licensure portability, giving an assessment of state processes in August of 2021. Washington scored well for processing time, temporary provisional licensure is issuing, and expedited uh, licenses for military spouses. In each of the primary occupations uh, that the Clearinghouse for Military Family Readiness studied, for where, where we see more military spouses, accounting, cosmetology, dental hygiene, massage therapy, pharmacy technician, and teachers. Uh, Washington also scored well on uh, defined process, clear instruction, and reduced number of steps to complete. And as you can see from this slide, um, on a scale of no military spouse information to easily accessible information, Washington rated in the middle um, and did well compared to other states. Where Washington needs to continue to work is reduce documentation requirements for license, tr trans license transfer. Also on the issue of military spouse license portability, the Department of Defense military branches now reimburse up to $1,000 for expenses related to military spouses transferring professional licenses into a new state due to a PCS move. Um, many military spouses are not aware of this effort, and we do work to refer them to military one source which lists out the different processes, every branch is different, on how military spouses can receive uh, this reimbursement. Looking ahead, uh, we are developing a Washington State Roadmap to License Transfer for common military spouse professions within the state of Washington. Continuing to promote the ask the question and disclosing that you're a military spouse status so military spouses can receive their expedited service benefits um, for professional licensure applications. And as I mentioned, Representative Levitt plans to introduce, to reintroduce the Military Spouse Employment Act in the 2023 session. And just continuing to work with installations, state licensing agencies, and other partners to promote the DOD professional licensure, license transfer reimbursement program so military spouses can receive that benefit. On the issue of military family child care in the state of Washington, the Washington State Military Family Child Care Workgroup has drafted a report quantifying the military child care need in our state, along with a set of recommendations that will be published soon. 
the Washington Military Family Child Care Resource Directory um, with a variety of different uh, civilian and community and installation and other support options will be published in December of 2022. And recently, the Department of Defense expanded the Military Child Care in Your Neighborhood program to MCCYN Plus through a pilot initiative in 2021. Um, if military families are not able to receive child care on an installation, the DOD launched the Military Child Care in Your Neighborhood program to provide them with subsidy support to offset the cost of civilian child care. The MCCYN Plus program previously only allowed nationally accredited child care providers to be a part of that subsidy program, which really reduced the options for civilian child care support. With the expansion of MCCYN Plus, DOD now allows subsidy provision for state quality rated child care providers. And within Washington state, our quality rating system is called Early Achievers. And we have 3,900 child care providers that are state quality rated in the state of Washington. On February 7th, DOD launched MCCYN Plus in the state of Washington and the Washington State Department of Children, Youth and Families communicated with all their entire network of early achiever child care providers about the launch to encourage them to sign up for MCCYM+. Continued collaboration is needed to support military spouses in the state of Washington. Uh, we want to work to promote data and information sharing between the Department of Defense and installations and other partners regarding employment, professional licensure reimbursement, child care slots, and child care subsidies provided in the state of Washington. We want to encourage military families to ask their civilian child care providers to sign up to be a part of MCCYN Plus and for civilian child care providers to sign up for the program so we can expand child care options for military families in our state. Advocate for military spouses to disclose their military affiliation when they submit occupational licensure applications so they can receive expedited service and also that we know how many military spouses are licensed in our state. Spreading the word about the Department of Defense professional licensure transfer cost reimbursement program for military spouses so they are not paying out of pocket whenever they have a PCS move and need to transfer their license. Encouraging resource sharing and collaboration through work group participation and engagement at every level for our participants and then promoting military spouse hiring to Washington state businesses and making sure military spouses have a seat at the table. The work that we're doing really focuses on the current concerns that we see for military spouses in the state of Washington. Uh, the Strengthening America's Family, military families report published in September of 2021 by the White House showed that 34% of military spouses reported they had lost their job and 25% reported their hours re were reduced between April 2020 and December of 2020. Uh, military spouses continue to face high on and under, un and underemployment rates. There's a lack of quality and affordable child care for military families, housing affordability, connecting to appropriate resource and basic needs and security. Our efforts are working to reduce these uh, concerns within the state of Washington. If I can answer any questions or connect uh, partners or uh, military spouses to resources, please do reach out. I'm happy to be of service. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share with you today. Take care.